Troy was so much more than just a statistic. To the friends and family and the people he worked with here at Camden Yards, he was an idea man full of energy who wanted to see those thoughts come to fruition. In the first stall you walk by, Norio Stadium, this crew is preparing for the thousands of fans who will soon take their seats. So one popcorn box, two icy, and one jumbo dog. This is their field, and they're preparing for game day with a huge hole in their lineup. Troy Rush Jr. was the heart and soul of this team. His gift for gab, infectious smile, and innovative ideas quickly stood out to the higher-ups when he pitched CD Nutty, the snack they make at the Food Project. Troy was explaining the snack to some of, uh, some of the people in corporate, and he did such a great job. They took him up to the main office uh, to, to share the snack, and um, he always says that it's because of him that we're in here now, and that's true. Um, he had a very contagious personality. Michelle Suazo is the co-founder of You in Power, which runs the Food Project nonprofit in Southwest Baltimore. For years, they brought in young people like Troy to teach them how to cook and prepare them for the workforce. At the Food Project, you know, we we hire the kids to feed their community, and um, but I can only hire so many, and um, we have a, a lot that are you know taking care of themselves or ready to be on their own and looking for jobs. And a lot of times there's hurdles in the way. This gave us an opportunity to give extra shifts and uh, the kids love it. This crew worked alongside Troy, and just a few days after he was shot and killed, it's understandable that it's still just too raw to talk. Hold on, watch that. Behind the counter, they kept their game face because they know that's what Troy would want. I can't compete a lot of times with what's, you know, you know, what's on the streets, and so I just do the best that I can to push forward, and, um, but I will say this, Troy loved being here, so for the kids, they might not really want to be working, but because this is where Troy loved to be, that's why they're here tonight. Michelle remembers her last conversation with him. He wanted to make sure that he was on the schedule for every game this week. Before COVID, we were hoping to get into Giant as well. He went to the meeting with us, and he was, he just, he had so much to contribute. They loved him as well, and I'm like, you think about all the kids that are just like passed over, that have so many gifts. And I think that's what's um, so crushing, you know, to lose uh, Troy, you know, because he had so much to give. The Food Project is working with the Orioles to set up a fund for his family, his young daughter and his little boy that's on the way. We have a link on our website, WMAR2news.com. At Camden Yards, Eddie Kadem, WMAR2 News. Now, police are really calling on the community to help find Rush's killer. You can leave an anonymous tip with Metro Crime Stoppers. You know the number, 1-866-7-LOCKUP. To learn more and to support the food project so they can continue to help more kids, we've got a link on our website.